Good morning, everybody. It's another Ride Along with Julia, and we're going to stay with the feature film I'm working on called Ribbons. Today, we're going to meet some of the actors and find out a little bit about the characters that they're going to be playing. So stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about my character? Yes. Uh, Julia plays Barbara uh, Greenlee, and she is the mother of our um, soldier, Vincent. And... Um, uh, Barbara has this um, emotional core where she keeps really very close and she hides it. And for her, um, the pain of seeing her son come back in that shape is so hard to endure and she really struggle with. And then we see her sort of like have this uh, wall um, that she covers up with uh, uh, over talking and, and covering her real suffering with words and noise and uh, you know she really uh, she really has a hard time meeting her boy when he returns after three years being in a war okay. uh, well I'm Brian Krauss uh, I'm playing Bishop in the movie Ribbons uh, he's a white supremacist uh, Aryan nation drug addict alcoholic uh, jerk so have you ever played this character before uh, uh, a no, white supremacist drug addict? No. Uh, I, I, I've been as like a serial killer and a killer before, uh, a bit of a bad guy, but never, uh, I mean, some of the language in this script and the character uses and uh, what it is, uh, definitely not. Uh, you know, and that encompassed with uh, being an addict and, you know, uh, just a, a jerk. Um, no, it's something very different. You know, people usually don't cast me to be the bad guy. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sweet. Smile. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably shave the head and we're going to put on tattoos. And, uh, you know, I think a goatee is usually, uh, it just means bad guy. So, uh, there'll be a bit of a transformation. Uh, it's almost uh, Edward Norton's character from American History X. Uh, but... 20 years older uh, and more of an addict, not just driven by hate. Playing, uh, <laughs> my name is Joel Bryant. I'll be playing Mo for Ribbons. And Mo is a very uh, sleazy, greasy strip club owner. And uh, I got this because I've worked with uh, Elias and Ed before, and they said, you know what? We wrote this character and we just thought about you and you had to come in for it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so flattering. <laughs> it's about time. I get to play somebody greasy and a strip club owner, you know? Uh, for all the money I've put into them, I figure it's time I get back. Uh, so that's how I I'm uh, DC Douglas, and I've got the uh, role of Frank Greenlee, um, playing uh, husband to Barbara, uh, played by a lovely actress, way too meet her. Um, <laughs> and essentially I run a, um, uh, a, a, a laundry service for uh, corporations, that kind of thing. And uh, very middle class. And uh, we have come to the airport to pick up uh, our son, who's uh, come back from uh, military service. And so it's a, a very um, hard coming home scene. So, Thank you. Quick question. Uh, have you ever played this type of role before? Um, y y yeah, it actually, it's <laughs> yes, it's been a while though because I've been going through a phase of playing like real evil SOBs, and which has been wonderful, um, and uh, so the, or like really strange like pedophile types. Um, the <laughs> so it's kind of nice to come back to being just you know a good dad or a guy who's trying to be a good dad. So yeah. Well, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on ribbons. Thank you. And working with you. <laughs> so once you've shot this film, where do you see it going? Good question. I think um, what uh, a lot of me and the actors and the uh, producers and everybody is involved in this project, because it's obviously a very, you know, passion piece more than anything else. And that's how it works in the indie world. You have to love what you do. Um, I think for me, I just want to show that passion to the world. I, I'd love to, you know, we're definitely going to go to you know, some of the film festivals like Sundance, um, possibly Toronto South by Southwest, um, uh, Tribeca or, uh, you know, possibly Berlin or Cannes. 
I would love to, you know, that that would be a great plan for me to actually show our work like that because I, I, I truly believe there's so much passion in this film from every level. I just love to share it with the world. So can you tell me a little bit about where you see this film going once it's done? Well, we're going to obviously put it in some festivals and um, well, hopefully get in some good ones. Um, <laughs> The, the previous work that Elias and I have done have been horror scripts, so uh, we and we did really pretty well with them as far as uh, you know the festivals and um, winning some awards and things. We're hoping that this sort of takes us into a different uh, kind of a different bracket. Not that I don't love horror, um, <laughs> no, I really do. I, <laughs> I'm a huge fan, and I'm sure we'll write other horror films, but we're just trying to do something else. Yeah, so.